Assalamu alaikum everyone. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya'i wal-mursaleen. Sayyidina wa maulana wa habibina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam tasliman kathira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone. Alhamdulillah. First and foremost, Jumma Mubarak to everyone, inshallah. We are so honored and blessed today here, as we always are at the MCC. May Allah protect and preserve this community, alhamdulillah, to have our sister here, Christine, is it Fernandez? Yes, Fernandez, with us. Alhamdulillah, she reached out recently to the uh, organizers and requested information on how to become a Muslimah. She is ready. She, we believe already, of course, with certainty that the fact that she's here means that she already has the firmness of faith in her heart. And this is, of course, the first pillar of Islam, the declaration or the shahada, which we do in uh, public view of, of, with witnesses. So alhamdulillah, this is definitely a first step for anyone who wants to embrace this beautiful faith. So we're very honored that Christine has chosen our community to do this. And I'm so excited because I have yet to hear Christine's story, but she came today prepared and willing and excited to share her story. So, Christine, first and foremost, again, welcome to our community. We're Thank you so much. Very happy to have you here. Please tell us what prompted you to take this next step in your faith journey. Um, first and foremost, it's good to see all of you, everyone. Um, I was born Catholic, and um, my parents were also Catholic, and they raised me um, um, like five years ago, I came in here. I am I am a nurse, and I came in here in the U.S. Uh, with 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 the fate of like having a good future. Um, two years ago, um, my dad passed away all of a sudden from a stroke, and my faith was shaken, and it was so bad I was in a dark place. A year ago, um, my mom passed away from COVID. So with all of those that's happening. Um, I was in a very dark place, and I lost my faith to God. And um, I'm like, I don't know where to go. I wanted to end my life, and I, I'm just very lost. I'm so glad that my partner, um, his name is um, RJ, he's with me right now. He's a born Muslim, and um, he was with me all the time. When we, when we first started dating, he never insisted for me to convert to being a Muslim. He never pressured me. He, he just prayed, and I see him, and I respect him, and he respect my faith as well. And then the Ramadan came in last year, and I was in a very dark place, and I saw him fasting. And for me, um, I was asking, like, why are you not eating? Why are you not drinking? And that's when I started looking, like, why are you doing Ramadan? And that's the first time I appreciate and I was very thankful that I was able to know why you're doing it. And I started doing it even though I'm not a convert yet, like I'm not doing the shahada yet. And it feels so good. And I appreciated God or Allah's gift to us, the food, all the blessings. It made me appreciate everything. And that's what made me convert to Islam. SubhanAllah Takbir. Allahu Akbar, what a beautiful testimony. Wow. As someone who's lost both her parents, I completely relate to what you experienced. And it's just such an incredible uh, you know, blessing to, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the midst of your agony of, of grief, that he opened this door to find your faith. And we are, again, so, so honored. MashaAllah, may Allah subhanahu wa bless your partner for, again, being patient with you and, and, and modeling Islam. That's really the best da'wah that we as Muslims can do. We don't, you know, we don't uh, force our, our faith upon anyone. We just are supposed to have, inshallah, the best character and just uh, practice our faith as we are taught. And that usually does exactly what happened to you, which is uh, bring people to the faith. So alhamdulillah, what a beautiful story. We are so, again, honored. So the process to become a Muslim, the formal process, the shahada, which I, I know now, by now you know, is a very simple uh, process, what we do is we basically, you declare, you make a declaration of faith in front of witnesses. It's a phrase that we uh, say in Arabic. And just to simplify it, you can say it once or two or three times, but for today, inshallah, we'll do it one time. It'll be very simple. And usually those who are in the audience will also pronounce it with you just to 
reaffirm our own uh, faith, inshallah. So it's always good for Muslims to practice and to, we say it anyway in the prayer many, many times throughout the day, but it's good in times like this to just come together. So I invite everyone here as well to also repeat, inshallah, as we will. And I'll go very slow. We'll do the Arabic and then we'll do the translation. And that's pretty much it. And then at that point, inshallah, there will be a line of sisters waiting to embrace you and welcome you after, of course, Aisha and myself. We want we want to get that first. So, Bismillah, everyone ready? And most importantly, are you ready, Christine? I'm ready. We are ready. All right, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So <clears throat> we begin and we say first, <clears throat> Ash. Ash. Everyone. Ash. Hadu. Hadu. An. An. La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Il. Il. Allah. Allah. Wa ash. Wa ash. Hadu. Hadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasul Allah. Rasul Allah. Inshallah. Takbir. 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 Allah. MashaAllah, Christine, you just testified in front of all of these witnesses and everyone who will be watching or is watching that you declare that there is no God with a small g, right? No God other than the one and only God, and that Muhammad is the last and final messenger of God. Alhamdulillah, welcome to the faith, our dear sister. We are so happy to have you, MashaAllah. Again, to Kabir, everyone. And sisters, now is the time. Come get your barakah dua. Of course, brothers, please keep Christine and her partner, inshallah, um, in your dua. And also know, Christine, that today is the beginning of your journey. Your, all your sins have been wiped clean. You are brand new like a baby, and we that's why we seek your dua. So please remember us in your dua today and every day, inshallah. Ameen. Jazakumullah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, everyone. Thank you.